Hello again, this is KG Kaiju with another unboxing video. Now, here is the last box for a little while here. I know I said that before, but some more auctions came in and I elected to hold off on opening them until I did a video. And let's see, let's go ahead and open this up. Opening it from the bottom, seems like opening things from the bottom is a little bit easier. Although if you have something that is kind of fragile and requires the box to be open from the top due to orientation arrows or whatever, you probably want to avoid doing what I'm doing here. This looks like a pretty a good stable box, so this is probably the first time this has been used. And uh, in this auction, I, uh, I better maneuver these games over here temporarily. Uh, in this auction, I have a, uh, purchased some Atari Lynx cartridges. Now, for those of you not familiar, uh, the Atari Lynx is a handheld unit. It was pretty much Atari's only foray into the handheld market. And let's see. Okay, they, they put two, two games in one here. Now, I don't know, some of you may be familiar with normal um, Atari Lynx games. They come normally in a cardboard box. Uh, the cardboard box, I wish I had one with me right now. But it's uh, just a little bit thinner than this, and longer, of course, just a hair. But this is in a CD case. This is actually one of the games that came out, and I believe, okay, this, is, this was made by Songbird Productions. This is one of the later games that came out for the Atari Lynx system. I don't know how you put a cartridge, a handheld cartridge like this, in a CD case like this. I do believe that somebody has switched the cases out. I don't, I honestly don't think that they would have put this in there like that. Hmm. It looks like the label is taped on there. Now I don't know is if that's an original label or not, I will have to uh, go on AtariAge.com. Here's the manual. Uh, pretty much a two page affair. Not much in the way of instruction. Uh, there, that's, that's the gist of it right there. That's pretty much it. So, and on the back it has a ROM chip. You know, the I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, perhaps if I turn it sideways you can see how the chip is up in the middle. Uh, now normally the Lynx cartridges were enclosed. The, the ROM chip was enclosed and protected. Apparently with these it's exposed. I don't honestly doubt that that's the original container for this. Okay, well anyway, let's go on to Remnant. <clears throat> uh, and this is also in a CD case, which by the way seems to be gibletting. Okay, this is like the other. Hmm, looks to be have a little, a little bit of stuff on the contacts there. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a hole in the top, as you can see. It's kind of like a slit. On the back you have the ROM chip once again. I don't know if you can see that. It says, Long Live the Links on the back. I just hope these are original. It says it was put out in 2000 punks, I believe. Uh, was put out 
and about the same time frame, yeah, 1999. Okay, so I, I hope those are original. If it's not, that's going to really be agitating. Oh, well, you know, I was looking for an example of what normal Atari Lynx cartridges look like in their box. Well, here's an example. Here's one. Uh, this is European Soccer Challenge. And this was put out by Telegames. Now, this one is a fairly one of the later ones. It's 1993. It's one of the later inbox versions of the Atari Lynx games. And here's what a normal Atari Lynx cartridge looks like. It doesn't even have the ROM chip now that I think about it. This one is, is curved. I don't know if you can see that or not. If you look, yeah, there we go. You can see it's curved at the top. And it acted as a kind of a handle. You put it in the top of the unit. Now, uh, I do happen to have an Atari Lynx unit right here. Um, so here's the Atari Lynx unit. Now, in the back here, you see uh, it's got a game. I'll go ahead and take that out. That's uh, California games. Now, see, this would go in like this. So, as you can see, it, it's level with the top of the Lynx. I don't know how the Pox cartridge would fit in there, but I guess it, the ROM, obviously, the little ROM chip is obviously on the outside. Now this manual is fairly, fairly thick. Uh, we've got 29 pages here, looks like. Well, uh, some of these, it looks like they're advertisements. Oh, that's pretty neat. Advertises some of the other games. Uh, put out by Telegames. So they use the last four, well, six pages to advertise some of their games. Uh, and it looks, uh, I, I know why the, uh, the manual is so thick. It's in a couple of different languages, including French. Uh, no pictures. Uh, it's pretty much just type. Wow. Well, you don't need to see pictures anyway in order to get the gist. So that's that. And let's see what else came with it. Um, ah, okay, this is a full color catalog. Uh, you got Kicks, Guardians, uh, the, the Fidelity, it's Fidelity Chess. Well, it says Fidelity Ultimate. Uh, I don't think that was the ending name. Uh, Crazy Ace, Desert Strike, Super Off-Road, and Dragon. Double Dragon, that is. So it has that in there. Okay, well let's go on to the next one. Moving quickly along. And this is Lynx Casino. Box is eh, a little beat up here. Yeah, let's see. Here's the cartridge. And it's another one of those cartridges with a curved lip. Now sometimes they had straight lip. Straight lip. And boy, this is a very thick manual. Wow. Uh, 79 pages. And here's just an example of one of them. Hmm. It's interesting. It kind of came with a warranty card as well. There's the warranty card. Alright, now let's see, let's go ahead and put that to the side. Okay, now, we have one more game, and this is called Tetris. Now, this game never did come out in a box, and it may not come out of this, this uh, bubble wrap before I can, before this, uh, 10 minutes expires. Let's see here. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, I'm going to take this quick. Alright, see, here's the orange protective case. And here is the cartridge. It doesn't even say teachers on it. And the manual. 
it's just a fold up. 